vio con ilusión, una niña enamorada, al novio con ilusión, que dice muy apurada, besame en ese rincón, y el novio le dice, espera caramba, deja que pase la gente, que mira la calle que era, son miradas imprudentes. Cuba es is such a different world than the U.S. in, you know, both good ways and bad. I mean, it's such a beautiful place, but they've had some, you know, struggles. And you see that firsthand just in terms of their economy. You know, for Cuba specifically, it's extra special because the United States has had very limited access to going to Cuba. And until recently, you could only go to Cuba through religious purposes or family and, and baseball. And you know, baseball is almost like a religion in Cuba. You know, just nine guys out there playing as hard as they can to, to win. I think it's very important for Americans especially to understand that we do not live in a U.S.-centric world. I think for the kids, it gives them a great opportunity to realize that we're all the same. We're just people that love the game of baseball. Uh, for the kids themselves, the, the, the baseball was, was one of a kind, and that's the part that I'm sure will always stick out in their mind as, as paramount. But in addition to that, the you know, the relationships that they were able to build with some of these Cuban players was pretty unique because we would hang after the game for quite a long time and you'd just talk to them and most of the baseball players on our team couldn't speak Spanish but there was really no problem communicating and that's really what baseball does. Y este tipo de encuentro realmente es un puente que abre la mitad y abre un posible ruptura del embargo hacia nuestro país. Meeting with the Cuban Baseball Federation was a great experience for me. They took to me just as quickly as I took to them. They introduced us to their wives and family and we had many great meals with them and gave us wonderful gifts as we exchanged and said our goodbyes and it really set the stage for future trips and really cemented an, an excellent and, and very heartwarming relationship. You know, we only hear one side of the story, they only hear one side of the story. So it's actually good to come down here and, and hear perspective from their side. I would just say that this trip going to Cuba is for many of us a once in a lifetime opportunity. Well, we came to Cuba because we've never been able to come to Cuba and having this opportunity to come has just been a great experience. My mother told us that, you know, she'd been here in the late 50s before the revolution and it was just no big deal. And, and I'm sure in our kids' lifetime it will be no big deal. But for those of us of a certain age, it's an honor and a privilege and a very unusual situation to be able to come and we're very, very grateful for the opportunity. To go, especially in this time when things haven't changed dramatically, as you know, the borders loosen up and our relations continue to grow, things are going to change in Cuba with their economy and, and their commerce and the like. It's really neat and special to see you know, how, in many ways, time stood still from the 50s till today. To see how they were you know, valuing some of our items that we don't really put so much emphasis on was a little, little heart-wrenching at times, but at the same time, they were taking their shirt off their back. MVP to us has more of a family feel to it. It's a close niche relationships that the players have with each other. They give more opportunities to players than some other organizations. We've been with MVP for over a year and it's very organized. Even when plans change, there's never chaos. What makes MVP different is the commitment to the player themselves. It's really about the, the growth of the player. We compete at a very high level and the high competition is going to help our players grow, but the amount of extra effort and care that goes into the training and development is really what's unique. The, the personal touch, 
the amount of experience that these coaches have from all different types of programs and professional ball and college ball and the like, you know, that's really special to have that many coaches with that much experience. But on top of that all, it's, it's the care and commitment to making these players better on and off the field. Play hard, we never quit, and we're, uh, we're just sharing our game with them. And giving is a good thing. Yeah, just bring it up, USA on three. Somebody bring this up. USA, USA on three, ready? One, two, three, USA! USA.